Barbara Hershey is a widely celebrated actress with a long and impressive career. Her talent spans various roles and genres, leaving a lasting impact on film and television. Today, we'll delve into her life and career, including a particularly wild segment on a certain widely watched talk show. Join Factsverse as we present Barbara Hershey pulled out her breast on live TV and shocked everyone. Early life. Barbara Hershey was born February 5, 1948, and is an actress renowned for her versatile and accomplished career. She was born in Hollywood to Arnold Nathan Herstein, a horse racing columnist, and Melrose Herstein, a housewife. Her parents divorced when she was just nine, and this had a profound impact on her early life. She later took the stage name Hershey as a tribute to her favorite childhood idol, Barbara Hutton, and dropped her original surname. Her early foray into acting began at a young age when she decided to pursue her passion for performing arts. She attended Hollywood High School, where she started to hone her acting skills. By the age of 17, she had already secured her first professional acting role, appearing in an episode of the TV series Gidget in 1965. Her big break came with her role in the 1966 television film The Monroes, where she played Kathy Monroe, a significant part that earned her critical acclaim and recognition in the industry. Her career continued to gain momentum with roles in various television series and films during the late 60s and early 70s. One of her most notable early films was The Baby Maker in 1970, where she played the lead role of Tish Gray, a young woman who becomes a surrogate mother. The film explored complex social and ethical themes, showcasing Hershey's ability to tackle challenging and thought-provoking roles. Career Highlights One of her early career-defining moments was her role in the 1972 film Boxcar Bertha, directed by Martin Scorsese, which catapulted her into the spotlight for its gritty and controversial subject matter. The film established her as an actress willing to take on challenging and unconventional roles, setting the stage for a diverse and illustrious career. In 1982, she earned widespread critical acclaim and her first Academy Award nomination for her role in the drama The Entity, where she portrayed a woman tormented by a malevolent spirit. Her ability to convey both vulnerability and strength in the face of supernatural terror showcased her range as an actress. Another standout moment came in 1988 when she starred alongside Bette Midler and Lily Taylor in Beaches. This heartwarming film about the enduring friendship between two women became a beloved classic, and Hershey's portrayal of Hilary Whitney Essex added depth and emotion to the story. One of her most memorable achievements came in the 1990s with her role as Cora in The Last Temptation of Christ, directed by Martin Scorsese. Her performance as the Virgin Mary earned her critical acclaim, and the film itself was a landmark in cinematic history. In the 21st century, she has continued to shine, earning an Emmy Award for her supporting role in the acclaimed series The Practice. Her portrayal of Rebecca Washington showcased her ability to excel in television as well as film. Personal Life Barbara Hershey's personal life has been marked by a series of relationships and significant milestones. She's known for her commitment to her craft as well as her ability to maintain a private and low-profile personal life. One of her most notable relationships was with actor David Carradine in the 1970s. The two met while working on the film Boxcar Bertha, and their on-screen chemistry extended off-screen. They became romantically involved, and their relationship garnered significant media attention. But the romance eventually ended, and they went their separate ways. In the early 80s, she was in a relationship with actor Naveen Andrews, with whom she starred in the film The Ballad of Little Joe. They had a son together named Free, born in 1992. Though the relationship didn't lead to marriage, they remained co-parents to their child. Her most high-profile relationship was with actor Stephen Douglas, with whom she was romantically involved for many years. While they never married, they had a son together named Tom, born in 2004. Hershey's dedication to her family and desire for a more private personal life led her to step away from the spotlight at times. Throughout her career, she's been known for her ability to balance her professional life with her personal life, choosing to keep her relationships and family out of the public eye. Passions One of her notable interests is her passion for art. She's known to be an art enthusiast and has expressed her love for painting. She's taken part in various art-related activities, 
including creating her own artwork and supporting the arts community. She's also been involved in philanthropic endeavors. She's been an advocate for various social and environmental causes, including issues related to animal welfare and environmental conservation. The Dick Cavett Show Barbara Hershey made several appearances on The Dick Cavett Show, a popular talk show that aired in various iterations during the late 60s and 70s. These appearances allowed audiences to get a glimpse of her personality, insights, and experiences in the entertainment industry. During her appearances, Barbara Hershey engaged in candid conversations with the host and shared her thoughts on various aspects of her career, film projects, and the film industry as a whole. These interviews provided viewers with a deeper understanding of her acting approach, her dedication to her craft, and her perspective on the evolving landscape of Hollywood. But one particular appearance made headlines. She was being interviewed, but heard her newborn baby, Free, crying off stage. So, like any good mom, she walked over and got him. She realized he was hungry and proceeded to breastfeed him live on the air. The producers were a bit stunned and quickly went to commercial. When they came back on air, she had finished. Cabot asked her, quote, Did you breastfeed the baby earlier or was that my imagination? Hershey, who was 25 at the time, seemed unfazed and said that she had. Cabot replied, quote, I've seen it several times in my life. I think I've learned now to be cool about it, but it does bother me a bit. He then added, Well, we presented the censor with a unique problem that will keep him up for days. Barbara Today In the past few years, Barbara has continued to maintain a presence in the entertainment industry. She's known for her diverse roles in films and television and has been part of the acting world for over 50 years. One of the most noteworthy aspects of her recent career includes her work in the horror genre. She starred in The Manor, a supernatural thriller that debuted on Amazon Prime. In this film, Hershey plays a woman who moves into a sinister retirement home after a stroke and encounters unusual events and a demonic presence. The role is in line with her previous work in the horror space, where she had successfully portrayed complex and intense characters, such as the broken and tyrannical mother in Black Swan in 2010. She's also been attending events and maintaining a presence in the public eye. In 2023, she attended the Chiller Theater Expo, a significant event for fans of horror and sci-fi. Her attendance at events like these indicates her continued engagement with the film industry and her fan base. She's openly discussed aging in Hollywood and the challenges it brings. She has a positive attitude towards aging, embracing the natural process and the experiences it brings. She's been candid about her views on how society treats aging people and the importance of treating them with respect and dignity. Now it's time to hear from you. Should mothers be able to breastfeed on live TV? Let us know in the comment section below.